night we made it Tuesday morning Sun high in the sky and I felt free You did your best and I ignored the warnings and Fair enough, I guess I didn't wanna see I wanted an adventure I wanted something new I gave you half my heart and figured Hello everyone, this is Suhaemin and welcome to another new video It is Tuesday morning Today we are going to go on a farm trip I've never been to any farms in Australia I've passed a lot when we drive uh, here to Balakisman's place but I don't think I actually have gone to the farms to do any activities I have asked Lucky if we can visit any animal farms or uh, fruit farms for a really really long time when he has a day off so finally we are going to go on a farm trip today I'm really excited to see goat, sheep and any sort of Australian animals when I see the animals here by accident I always think they look very different to uh, the animals that I used to see I think the colors and the shapes are a little different I'm really really looking forward to see uh, the animals closer So I thought it would be nice to bring you all with me today um, Yeah, so let's go <laughs> The next day the place where we went yesterday was like a mini animal zoo animal park i thought it would be like an animal farm the animals were really friendly they kindly allowed us to pet and they were not really offensive they were super adorable to alpacas and it is actually the first time to see alpacas in a really really super close distance in person in my life also my favorite animals were goats i think since i moved to australia i'm getting to like goats or sheep when i was in korea i always saw sheep or goats beyond the fence and i didn't have many chance to feed them or pet so i didn't have much emotion about them also I was a little kid so I really enjoyed it yesterday at the animal park and I'm hoping to find similar places like that in the future
Hi everyone, it is 9... 12th? 9.16 um, I'm just sitting on the couch Because Lucky is currently on the phone and he's enjoying his uh, holidays So I didn't want to interrupt him So I want to show what I was drawing because I just finished the piece As you can see, I drew a yellow teapot Again, I ended up drawing a very 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 autumnal art piece the drawing looks slightly brighter on the screen of the camera but the color of the teapot is very close to mustard yellow If you have seen my recent painting videos, blogging videos or if you are following my art Instagram you may recognize how I got inspired and uh, some parts in this drawing For example, the landscape drawing on this hot pot, no, sorry, uh, teapot. Uh, it is from the painting video called Cottage Illustration with Gouache, I believe. And I tried to make it in a similar vibe with the previous drawing, which is this, this teacup. I'm not sure what will happen in the future, but if I want to make it as an art print, I want to print uh, this teapot together and I want to put them together in one listing as a set of art prints For the rest of the night, I want to draw some ideas with color pencils and I want to develop the technique Also, I want to watch a K-drama I happen to watch the K-dramas for the past 4 years, I believe because mainly I wanted to focus on studying English and I wanted to get used to listen, speak and read English I've tried to avoid any K-dramas and the habit was pretty consistent but a few weeks ago everywhere people were talking about Squid Game and I saw a lot of posts about Squid Game on Instagram and Facebook also currently a lot of artists are drawing uh, fan art of books called the game. My partner Lucky also wanted to watch me uh, from a while ago and we started watching the first episode yesterday and the very first impression of Squid Game was not actually about the TV series but I was a bit emotional It was so nostalgic feeling that I didn't need to rely on subtitles and I didn't have to have uh, difficulties of understanding of any words or slangs we always watch Western movies, English YouTube videos, or Japanese movies uh, during the dinner time. Unless we turn the subtitles, I have to guess the entire stories until the end of the videos. I'm still learning English, so sometimes I feel like I want to bring something from the fridge. Uh, when we have dinner without pausing the videos I haven't done this for years and I did it that yesterday for the first time after moving to Australia so it was kind of nostalgia I also recognized the location from Squid Game especially um, the place where the main character received the invitation from a mysterious person in black suit I used to take on the particular train on the line uh, so many times to go home and to go Gangnam so I recognized the location as soon as I saw the gate for the first time I think in a sec so that was the second moment that I felt nostalgic um, if I have to think about the TV series as a Korean audience I think it is a very very brilliant work It is a bit violence and it won't be violence like that in the real life but it shows the world a variety of Korean traditional games in a really strong and powerful way I played most of the games when I was a kid especially in a primary school The first round is actually my favorite childhood game and it was really really fun and entertaining I also watched two other K-dramas The one is called 
Hometown Cha 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 and the Korean name is Gamer Cha Cha Cha. The Korean name of the TV series indicates a very specific and small town near the seaside in Korea in the real life. I watched one episode last Sunday and I stopped because it doesn't sound realistic and it was so, so dramatic. The main character is a female dentist who was working at a dental office in Seoul but she quitted the job after watching several minutes because her voice was really horrible and then she was trying to find another dental office to find a new job but her previous boss had spread it uh, word of mouth about all of her bad things to the all of the dental offices in Seoul. So she had a very stressful time and she ended up going on a mini trip near the seaside. Since then, lots of bad things happened to her. She lost a very luxurious hill and her electric car suddenly stopped working and also her phone stopped working her every bank card also didn't work and she kept encountering a cool but mysterious boy and he keeps helping her in a weird way the drama was trying to make him really really cool and gentle but i felt spooked instead so i thought that that's not really my taste that's why I stopped watching. The last K-drama that I watched recently is called Start Up. I watched two episodes last night and I really loved the story and each character. The main characters are sisters and in the first episode it tells about their background. When they were a kid, they found out the relationship of their parents was not good and their mom was always complaining about their dad and she wasn't happy about what their dad was about to do their apartment looked pretty good though she thought oh, her partner really doesn't make a lot of money their parents ended up divorcing and the older sister decided to follow her mom and the younger sister decided to follow her dad their mom found another partner who is rich soon and their dad started a business. At this point, the older sister realizes that her life is getting easy because she has a big support to study abroad and start a business. But the younger sister thinks that sounds so selfish. After time skip, they still compete who made the right decision. I also really like the stories of other characters. For example, some of us are really good at investing and doing business and someone's a really really passion for creating something there's a lot of scenes showing the beauty of a human being they made me weep a lot which I really didn't expect if you feel like you haven't achieved something that you really 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 wish for for a long time I think startup will cheer you up
Hello everyone, it is the next day and we are on the way to the mall um, because I want to get a new shoes and we need to get new housing stuff Before we get there, I want to end this vlog Hopefully this video is not too long and not too boring I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of vlog Have a wonderful lovely day and I'll see you in the next one, bye!